foreign contractors seem to have fueled nearly all road construction deals. This sadly includes the much talked about 20% offer given to Zambians on paper. As a result, more than 40 local contractors have petitioned the Minister of Infrastructure and Housing, Vincent Mwale, to correct the situation. Touring selected roads in Lusaka, Mr. Mwale told AVIC officials that he would not allow a situation where Zambians are disadvantaged and denied their entitled 20% share. But as government, we will not sit idle. If there's a petition like this, we'll have to move in and check. And um, if uh, AVIC is not complying with this policy, we'll have a bond to chew with them. We'll have to deal with them. This is a policy, and in fact, very soon, this policy will now be turned into an actual law. You know, we want to make sure that it is in a law, it is enshrined in a law. It is government policy at the moment, but we want it enshrined in a law. And we will not be friends with any contractor that will not comply with this. And when it becomes law, definitely, the law will say exactly what will happen to those that will not abide. But an AVIC official found on site said the company was working with 40 Zambian contractors. We have engaged, I think it's uh, almost uh, 45 subcontractors. Uh, who get the con who get some uh, contracts and uh, uh, at this moment uh, some of them has been working at site uh, and as according to our schedule maybe in the near future uh, more and more subcontractors will also uh, come to do their part so it's not a problem and uh, uh, I think I can also promise to your honorable that uh, by end of the contract, uh, L500, I think we'll finish 20% of the value of the contract. Mr. Mwale, however, warns all foreign contractors awarded government contracts not to ignore the 20% policy. And this is a message to all contractors that have government contracts. You know, working on uh, Great North Road to Nakonde, working on uh, all sorts of roads that we have in this country, we want Zambians to participate. Uh, we, we cannot allow our economy you know, to be bleeding all the time. You know, we're making payments, some of these monies are leaving the country. We want some money to remain in this country, grow our economy. Not so long ago, local contractors through their president, Mutalem Pepo, complained that contracts managed under the Ministry of Infrastructure and Housing were merely benefiting foreign contractors while disadvantaging the locals. Could this be a turning point to now involve local contractors as prescribed in the policy? Mwapekumwenda, Prime TV News, Lusaka.